Okay, so if you're coming up the trail, you're going to be coming around Indian Nose. That's when you're going to first see the, the mountain come into view. When it's okay, as you're coming up, you're going to come up to the wall, and instead of going to the left, it should be car to go to the right side. The hike is three miles up, 1,700 feet in elevation gain, and three hours of steep desert rock. And uh, I just want to thank all you guys for coming up here, standing behind me, and doing this craziness, one of a kind thing. You know, and I don't think there's anybody else in the world that does anything like this. 25 years ago, Tim O'Connor talked a few buddies into following him up Cupcake Mountain. They schlepped up piles of flares with the intention of a little pyromania. This was the beginning of the Leaping Lizards tribe. It's been great. Thanks, you guys. The most important thing to do when you finally make it to the top of Cupcake Mountain is grab a Mud Shark beer because it's local, but you get it from somebody else who carried it up for you. Like that guy. Everybody that's come up here since 1986 has had a tag issued to them, and we've collected it together on one big cluster. And it says Leaping Lizard Tribe on it. Yeah, we threw the tribe on there for a little bit of Southwest <laughs> flavor thing, you know. We were drinking at the really time. Really you know. all, <laughs> all. Light one at the top at around 8.30. So everybody can kind of zero in, set their beach chairs, you know, when they're looking. <laughs> we're getting close to our first clear, guys. Yeah. Come closer! Oh, it's like the sun! An ultralight plane flies over to signal that the final burn is about to begin. Spectators are gazing at what looks like a birthday cake from below. The truly amazing experience is up on top, with childlike giggles, howls, and bright red fiery sticks being carried by a tribe of weeping lizards. Pyromania! <laughs> <laughs> We just road flares, you know, and we do it in a certain pattern and let these to be down in the house and it's awesome. It's a big birthday cake. We still got flares. Not done yet. What happens when old men get bored? They play with fire. <laughs> Really cool. A few minutes ago, uh, we lit two of those hot flares in the middle. How'd that look? It was a ruby in the sky, and it was big and bright. Okay. <laughs> Lights out. What a trip, man. All these guys follow me up here and do this crazy stuff, you know? Now, see, this is why we originally lit the mountain up, because we didn't have these. Those flares were our signal that we made it. And now we got these things. We're done with the burn. This is our last burn, Mike. Yeah, we're done. I told my wife when I die, I want some of my ashes to go into Merced and Yosemite Valley and some on Cupcake and here and there. And if there's any left over, you can sprinkle a little bit on the dog food and then I can lay around in the yard and look like <laughs> for a while. <laughs> she got fish, she goes, I might just do that. <laughs>